What's up, everybody? My name is Dell. This is Dell on Movies. Thanks for hanging out with me. And if you've been here before, thanks for hanging out with me again. Today, I have another installment of Movie Theater Memories. And this one is, of course, related to spooky season. So I had to get this out before the end of the month. At least that's the goal here. We'll see how quick editing me works. And the movie I wanted to talk about, though, is the one and only Pet Cemetery. I saw this back in the day in the theaters, of course. That's why we're here talking about it. Uh, my mom took me. I don't remember if my siblings were with me or not. I think my next oldest brother was the one that's right behind me. Um, I can't recall if, if they happened, any of them happened to see it. Just let me know. But, you know, they don't watch my stuff. But anyway, I, I didn't know what to expect from this movie. I had never read a Stephen King novel at this time, so I definitely hadn't read the book. Um, I was familiar with who he was because I, I had already seen Christine. I had already seen Carrie. I had already seen Shining. And so I, I was real familiar with him. I just had never read anything. So I didn't know what the story of this movie was until I saw the trailer for it. So we go in the theater and we're sitting there. And if you're familiar with the story, we know this family has just moved in, uh, moved into this house that happens to sit along a very busy two lane highway. And lots and lots of 18-wheelers just use this, and they're barreling down the road every time they come through. Well, of course, this is unsettling to the mom and the dad and the, in the family because they have two young children, especially their youngest, Gay's little boy. He is, uh, he likes to wander because he's a toddler, basically. And he wanders onto this road pretty early in the movie, and this was one of the most amazing things that happened to me in a movie theater. So I'm, I'm going to demonstrate as much as I can uh, by sitting in my seat here, guys. So in the movie theater, I'm sitting back watching the movie. And a truck comes, like I said, just speeding down this one two-lane highway. And Gage has is out there playing in the street. And I can feel... I, I can feel myself raise up in my seat, lean forward in my seat. I, it was basically. Now, that in and of itself is not the amazing part. The amazing part is that I can feel everybody in the, in the theater do the same thing at the same time. And I didn't look around. I never turned my head. But the tension had been built so perfectly just to that point. So that we all had the same reaction. So it was it was simultaneously leaning forward of a full theater of people. This was this theater was packed. And like I said, it was everybody all at once just leaned forward when this truck is coming towards uh, this little boy. And to a little bit of a spoiler, this is the first time it happens in the movie. Somebody manages to save the little boy before the truck hits him. And just the same way we leaned forward all at once, you could feel us all breathe a sigh of relief and lean back all at the exact same time. And that's really what gets us here as one of the great movie theater memories for me a little bit later in the movie when the boy is in the road again, similar experience, you know, everybody's kind of leaning forward. And again, a spoiler for anybody who's not seen the original pet cemetery Gage isn't so fortunate this time, you know, and at that point you can feel everybody's grief for what just happened. And and as the rest of the movie plays out, you know, we're we're appropriately laughing at the parts we're supposed to laugh at and cringing at the parts that we're uh, supposed to. And it, it was just a, a a unifying experience as much as horror can be. So we were kind of unified in our in either our fear or our for ourselves or for the people on the screen, which is what uh, great horror does. Uh Years later, you know, you watch this movie kind of critically and you can nitpick things here and there, but there's no denying the feeling that the movie gave me. And that is why I had to speak about uh, Pet Cemetery as one of the most memorable movie theater experiences of my life. Let me know, guys, if you saw Pet Cemetery, what you think of it. Uh, did you have that kind of experience if you saw it in theaters or is there some other horror movie uh, that you happen to see? in theaters and and have that collective uh action that you guys were all taking uh that's all i really have for you on pet cemetery not a lot of hype and circumstances surrounding this one like we did we talked about with some other movies 
but the experience still sits here just the same. So, guys, I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.